Good. <clears throat> Jesus, I need a sip of coffee. God dang. Uh, good morning. It's 6.31 a.m. Headed to Control Jiu Jitsu right now for my 7 a.m. session. Got 7 a.m., 8 a.m., and then the evening class. So it's going to be a pretty busy day. New week. Let's get started. Philip and I just got done with the conditioning session. Now we're heading to the live roll and Coach Slayer just made it. And uh, thankfully my lip isn't bothering me so much. I bit right through it training with Mike the other day and it is, uh, it's pretty raw. So not bad, we'll do, depends, probably five minute rounds or 10 minute rounds. All, all I know is that I'm feeling pretty good. I'm liking these sessions, conditioning, rolling, and then going straight into uh, live rolling with Coach. So I'll catch you guys there.
we are back at the house that is a wrap on Nogi. Pretty good day today. I feel like I definitely optimized my training and my performance today by not going heavy every session. Uh, usually before, you would see me roll in the morning, afternoon, and night. Today, or what I've been doing and what I did this morning was 7 a.m. was a conditioning and, and kind of a, a workout session where we mixed in workouts with training. 8 a.m. with Leo was hard training and then I would rest and stretch and then fuel up, eat properly, not eat like junk. And then like for dinner today, pasta, I, I carved up some pasta and some steak and then trained heavy again for Nogi and I felt perfect. I was stretching, I was good. I didn't feel perfect, but I felt optimal. I wasn't sore, I wasn't tired, I wasn't fatigued. I felt really good and I'm really excited with that because that way I can use that to not only optimize today or make my performance better today, I can make my performance better the next following days. I've been keeping a journal around that I've been notating what I do thanks to Coach Monty, but I'm gonna use that to document and hold myself accountable to a lot of the stuff I'm doing in my training, which will allow me to boost it up with just one notch to where I'm at now, especially at my level. Every single little notch counts and matters. So ending it on Nogi and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So check this out guys, I helped with the kids seminar yesterday. Pretty funny because um, initially when my buddy texted me that we were training with Lebo, we we're going to go to Elementum. Little did we know Lebo was supposed to teach a kids seminar over at Julius's gym, which is Champions Martial Arts. And I get there, thankfully I had my gi in the back seat. Because I show up and I see, I thought it was a no-gi day. I thought it was going to be a regular no-gi day. That's what it originally was. And I see Lebo with the gi on and a bunch of kids. And I'm like, okay, maybe kids class is ending. Um, and then I get there and I guess it just started. It was a kid's seminar. Lebo sees me. He's happy to see me. I'm happy to see him. I'm happy to see the homies there because there's a lot of their adults there. And... I get there, and I'm like, okay, where are we gonna change? So I change, I got my purple belt on, I'm waiting. And then Lebo invites me on the mats to help out with the kids, which is awesome. Just the fact that he allowed me to get on there and help, and trusted me to help out with his uh, teaching was freaking awesome. Um, but uh, I get there, and I'm helping the kids out, and I was like, okay, and then, you know, we uh, get told we, we have to wear, they would like us to wear masks, so we follow we follow the rules. And we, you know, we wear masks when we teach. It's not a really big deal, we're teaching kids, and I'm pretty sure it makes the, helps the parents feel comfortable knowing that we are trying to prevent them from, we're trying to prevent the spread of whatever we have. I'm not a scientist, I'm not here to argue about that. That's what we are told, we follow the rules. It's not that, it wasn't that difficult of a thing to do. So, we end up training, I got the opportunity to, to help. It was pretty freaking cool. It's it's quiz, it's uh. It's cool because that, that can happen sometimes, you know? You have a certain plan and it ends up not going how you thought it would be, but doesn't mean it's gonna be, you know, that's gonna impact how good your day goes or how bad your day goes, uh, which I think is awesome. Which I think is awesome and uh, you, it, it sometimes life just ends up like that, you know? You, you, you think something's gonna go a certain way, it doesn't. You can either think it's gonna be the worst day of your life and it's gonna mess up everything, or you can think, okay, what new opportunity will this bring me and give me to show and become a better person or human being? It, it's just, that's something you get in jujitsu. It's, it, you get things that you learn that you end up taking with you through life and it's pretty freaking awesome. I got the opportunity to help teach a kids seminar with one of the 
one of the greatest jiu-jitsu athletes in history of jiu-jitsu, one of the greats, you know, which is, I would never have thought I had the opportunity to, which is awesome and a, and a fun experience, and it's just what's, what what comes with being under Wade Rum's lineage, it's, it's, it's I, have, I have the the luck of the draw, I had the opportunity that, you know, Wade Rome had a gym five minutes five minutes from my house and I just stepped in that room and he welcomed me like as, as family and you know since then it's been history. So the opportunities that are coming up with Jiu Jitsu are, are awesome, but it's the end of the week and I'm actually headed to it's not the end of the week for me, end of the week for the vlog. I'm going to the Gi training now and uh, gonna go train, but you guys will see that next week. Thank you for all you guys do. Thank you for the constant support that I don't think I'm deserving of, but I am still just blown away at every every view I get on this video. No matter if it's 100, no matter if it's 210, I don't care. It means a lot that people are out there liking the content I'm, I'm working at, pushing out. I'm working very hard on this stuff. Um, I have a full-time job on the side of this, so this isn't my sole source of income. It's actually not a source of income now, um, but it's the goal. So thank you. Thank you for choosing to be a part of this journey that's just starting and we're continuing to grow. So I appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And let's get, let's get going. Let's get training. Let's get out there and get some work done this week, guys. I'll see you guys next Friday.